Lanza. So today we're going to be taking the renewed version of Okiora into Guild Quest, the Esparta Guild Quest, which is something this character was basically designed for. As a prize, we haven't showcased him here yet, but he is really good. And this team that we are going to be using is somewhat easily replicated for the most part. So in this case, we are using Okiora. These are the accessories. These are the links. And he, surprisingly, is only 1 out of 5. So this is basically the bare minimum. Any extra dupes you get makes this quest significantly easier. If you have the character 5-5, five, five, maybe even 4-5, then you can probably just nuke this entire quest with just his soul bomb. Unfortunately, though, at 1 out of 5, I can't really do that right now. But we have given him full stamina damage and also weakened defense to make sure his soul can do as much damage. And that's also why he does have a tension tie, right? This character here is there to do damage on his strong attack, but most importantly, he's there to do damage on his soul bomb. Now, to go alongside that, we have Luna Rukia. Now, in her case, she does have kill advantage here that being a wrong killer, but she isn't getting the three times damage output because she doesn't have a spider killer, so do keep that in mind. If you pulled the recently released Dordoni, he would be a way better character put in here instead of Rukia, for example. But you might be wondering, why are we putting Rukia in the team despite her not having a spider killer? Well, the main reason strictly comes down to her SA2 being a boost SA2 with the booster skill. So in this case, you're going to be providing our team, more so our Abirama and Ogura, 43% extra attack, focus, and also defense. That's really important. Every team, when tackling Guild Quest, should have a team booster and bonus points if they have the booster skill. So she's just there to do nad damage. We haven't really like, built up properly here. I and mean, we just throw on chappies and nad build and that's basically about it, right? She is 2-5, so level 10 attack focus. 25% more damage at full stamina and also weaken defense. Although I probably could change that to damage to burn, damage to weaken. As for now though, I'm just gonna keep it as is. It really doesn't matter that much. But then we have our main DPS character. In this case, Abby Rama. Now he is basically max transcended, right? Level 10 attack, level 10 focus, and also 500 additional attack. I got him from summoning on the anniversary. Many people might have this character too. Maybe duped out if you went hard on the 10th anniversary. And he just has a really high damage output. He is a Nad character, so we gave him these particular accessories, and we gave him these particular links. If you don't have this Abby Rama, a good substitute, and technically even a better character, would be the Kakao Saiti Okiura. The problem I have with Okiura, though, is that he needs to inflict a status on him, and if you do inflict a status on him, then he does a lot of damage, and you can clear significantly faster. With Abby Rama, he just does more consistent damage, so I don't have to reset that much to get like, an ideal score, for example. But if you have Amirama 1-5, 2-5, definitely worth taking. And if you have Okura and you're willing to do an extra bit of resets, then you can also take him. They're both really good options. And right now, the best options for this particular Guild Quest week. So with that said, jumping into the quest then is going to be very simple. Right? We're going to go in, use our strong attacks, and then we saw bomb. So SA1 there. Ideally, we want Abirama to use his Nat String if we possibly can. So we used his Nat String there. He used it again. I probably could have saw bombed on his last Nat String, but ideally, you want to sync up the saw bomb with Abirama's Nat String, and that should allow you to get into the fifth stage, where at that point, both of the characters are going to continue doing damage on their normal attacks. And in coincidentally, we had our SA1 come back in time, and boom, we cleared the Guild Quest in just eight seconds. Really good, consistent score with this particular team. It definitely can get faster, depending on how much we reset, depending on if we try and sync perfectly, we can potentially get a 5 second run, but look at that, 25 bombs, I will take that. But this is generally the idea when you're using nat teams like this. You bring a really good SP character that can do a lot of damage in the soul bomb, and you just sync it up with the character's naturing, and that does allow you to usually get through most of the waves. This is all possible thanks to Rukia's team boost, Abby Rama's normal attack damage output, and of course also Okura's soul bomb damage. But jumping into it again, as mentioned, if Abirama decides to use his Nat String straight away and doesn't, like, waste time using strong attacks, it'd be a lot better. So in this case, we're going to use our SA2 just to trap the enemies in place. Can we sync up here? Does that work? It didn't. So again, you can see here, sometimes it doesn't always work. We're going to let the run play out. So a, a bad example of syncing there, we didn't actually solve them into the final boss. Yet again, we were still able to get a sub 10 second clear time. That just goes to show how consistent the team is. We haven't even needed to reset yet, and we're still getting, you know, 880, right? And we're just getting hello orbs today. What is going on? But let's try that once more. We might have to reset the app in this case, just to show what other runs would look like here. So in this case, let's solve them now. Goes into Okiora. Unfortunately, I'm going to pause it there. Very, very unfortunate. We actually would have got like a six, seven second clear time there, but we didn't actually kill up the mini mobs. So it is important to sometimes save your strong attacks to potentially clear up any of those mobs that unfortunately get left alive from the soul bomb. That would have been our best run of the day. Without having the need to reset, unfortunately, we kind of messed up there. So let's try that once more. All right, then. So attempt number four. Let's see how this one does go. So again, we're going to go in, use our SA1 straight away. Pretty good nuke there on the SA1. And then we SA3. And at this point, we use our Soul Bomb. 
in combination with that. Look at that. Very good scores, but we're kind of messing up there. Maybe I need to save a strong attack. We're going to let that run play through, though. But very similar. We would have got like a seven second clear time, but I didn't have a strong attack ready. My Storm didn't do enough damage, unfortunately. It was able to get through into the fifth wave, but it wasn't enough damage to actually take out all the little mini mobs, which I guess is understandable. We don't have a Ronk Killer. If we did, we would have killed them there. And any extra dupes we get in Okyo will just make this run significantly better, significantly faster. In that case, though, rewards aren't really too impressive, but we did get one up, so we'll take it. Either way, Renewed Okura is still an amazing character to get. He's currently out right now, and, he and he's a great character to have because he just makes guild quests, more specifically the Asparta guild quest, which traditionally is one of the more trickier guild quests to tackle for most people. He makes it trivial. His damage output, most importantly, his soul bomb damage output is really high, and you can use him in both Asparta weeks, right? The melee or ranged one. So in this case, we did use him in the ranged guild quest week, and this, of course, was his most ideal situation since he does get extra damage by being a ranged character, but you can still take him into the melee week. I personally still use him there too, because the most important part is the sovereign damage. But either way, Ogura is still an amazing character. An amazing character to use in Guild Quest, especially when paired with someone like Abby Rama. Or, of course, you could just double down with this particular Ogura and make a double Ogura team, but potentially play even faster. With that said, though, hope you liked and enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys next time. Take care and peace.